hey guys so today i'm going to show you how to visualize metabolomics data so you go to proteo your google proteo wizard you open this link and you download the software so you select your platform generally you can get an uh, you can get the whatever platform you have and download that and it should work just fine now after you download and install it you get two softwares one is the ms convert which is used to convert the raw file formats into the open mzml or mzxml formats and the another one is which is we are going to talk about today it is cms so if you just click on the start menu and search you can see cms open that and after opening it you open the files that you have it might be the raw file formats as in the vendor formats as well as the converted files that it handles both of them very well so as you click on open you can see it is taking some time to load up and this is normal behavior don't panic i'll just let it load okay it has loaded and you can see the, all the file formats are recognized here this is the web file and i'm just going to open one and show you so after you select the file and open it it is going to load that and it is going to take some time and show up yeah so you can see there are certain columns here with which you can filter the data as well and you can visualize so this is profile mode data if you want to know what a profile mode data is you can go to my channel or post it in the comments and i can make a video about that if i don't have already and uh, you can see that the data is very easy to visualize so i think this is the this is the TIC, yeah. This is the TIC, and you can click on any of them and it will load up like this. Yes, you can also filter the data based on the different parameters here. So, if you just want to see the MS1 information, by the way, this is Swath data. So, we have uh, I think 30, 34 windows, 37 windows in each cycle. So, there are 1006 cycles if I remember correctly in this data yes so there are 1006 cycles and you can filter the data and visualize it very easily so this is a great way to get an understanding of the data as in get an understanding of what is present in the data what kind of data it is so that is it for the video thank you for watching